the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Done we now our gay apparel. Fa la 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 la. Hi guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 12. Today is going to be a DIY Sharpie mug. These were like everywhere like two years ago. Um, I personally never did them, but I noticed one cup on Pinterest that I really wanted to make. So I made it and it worked out. And then I realized that I want to do like something a little for like my family for our D&D &D thing. So these are going to be our early Christmas present for like my D&D &D group or like my family, like my husband, my brother and sister-in-law, my best friend, his fiance, and of course myself. So to get started, you'll need a mug. I, where I read is, is the best to use cheap mugs. I got these from the Redux shop. These were a dollar each. I actually cleaned the shelf. I got six of them and I cleaned the shelf and my husband was laughing at me all of the day. So there's a mug. Then to write you need a Sharpie oil paste paint. Sharpie oil based paint marker. I got the got it in black and yellow. For this one I'm probably just used black and yeah. I was looking everywhere for these. I looked online and they were like ten dollars for one. The one place I thought would never have it was Bunnings yeah, which is a warehouse store here in Australia and I found them for like $7 each they're a little bit expensive but I can use them for multiple things and yeah um to clean the mugs you'll need alcohol prep pads or rubbing alcohol if you can find them I couldn't find rubbing alcohol but these work as well this will break up the oils on the mug so your pen sticks to them. Then just to wipe the mug so it's not soaking wet is some paper towels. Then you need time. This will take 30 days. I know. Um, the one I found that works the best was to wait between drying and cooking. I'll show you. So yeah, that's what you need. Let's get started. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. So it's three days later. That's what it looks like so far. But now put it in there. So fast. Then some baking tape up. glasses in. I got three of them here and put it in a cold oven. <laughs> since the oven 
was turned off. It's better for them to like cool down in the oven so they don't crack. So like putting them in the oven cold, like with the oven turned off, turn it on. Then when they're done in it for an hour, turn it off and leave it. So I went out, made some cookies. That's why I got a bit of flour all over my shirt. So let's go. Hopefully they didn't break. Didn't break. So the one I'm showing you guys is this one. So it should be like on. So like I said, Sage is my D and D name. For my character, so I'm making everyone a character, the character monks. I do have three more that I need to put in tomorrow, but they're still drying. So that's how they turned out. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you need him, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, Vlogmas Day 13. Bye.